In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have made this colorful design, which looks like a kind of a flower or some uh, a geometric pattern. So you can see I put the eight steps and then the first step you can add the title. Likewise, you can just add the title for each options along with the detailed text. I have created one more with uh, one color combination only you can see here the green shade and then it's become more lighter so depending on your requirement you can choose the uh, slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2018 sorry 2019 to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select one rectangle just click it here and then make the height and width as two inches and make sure to align center align middle and shape fill make it white and shape outline make it no outline so it looks like this so if it is not visible clearly you can just put some other color and at the end you can change it to white so once this is done i'm going to insert uh, this particular shape which is the arrow uh, pentagon draw the arrow pentagon okay shape outline make it no outline then i'm just going to rotate it all right then again align center align middle and here i'm just going to put it till here okay and then i can just reduce the size a little bit and depending on your requirement you can just increase this one okay so maybe this much size i'm just going to put it here all right now what i'm going to do this blue shape i'm going to cut this into two pieces okay so first of all make it no outline then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle and draw the rectangle exactly at the covering the half part let me just give some different color you can see here only half part i have covered so now i'm going to select this shape and select this shape do not select the the gray or uh, the square shape okay only these two shapes you need to select it merge shape and make it fragment all right now delete this unwanted part i don't need and now you can see here i have got two different parts here all right so now you can give any color of your choice right mouse click go to format shape and under fill i'm going to give any color of your choice for example i can make it some a light uh, the teal color and the other one is somewhat darker or a lighter than this one whichever okay you can see here one is dark one is light so i'm going to select both of this shape press ctrl ctrl g to group it okay and then send this to back so you end up getting a, a shape something like that it looks like this okay and if you want to give uh, some uh, a kind of a shadow effect here again i'm going to add one uh, you can see the same uh, shape which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency effect and again rotate left 90 degrees okay and put it something like this okay a little bit smaller let me just zoom in you can see here it should look like this you can make it more curve and then you can make it more up okay and then send this to back and make sure these two are grouped together okay it looks like this now press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to give not different color combinations okay if you want you can go ahead with the same color or i mean uh, the same shade or you can change it according to your requirement so here i'm just going to give some more lighter colors you can see here and bring it here and send this to back okay so you can see here it looks like this and one more i'm going to make it press ctrl d now again i'm going to change some different color combination let me just do it once again more color maybe i can just choose uh, some kind of uh, light green and here some other more lighter color okay 
and then again pull it like that here and send this to back okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all the shapes except this rectangle or the square press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group now press ctrl d to duplicate and then rotate it you can see here and then i'm just going to put it like this here okay and then send this to back press ctrl d again rotate it you can see here i can make it 90 degrees and put it exactly here okay just make sure that it is properly aligned and then send this to back okay then press ctrl d again rotate now you can see here and now this time let's group it like that and send this to back all right so you got the shape now again i would like to add one one here also okay so in this case you can see here i have added only two part here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and one part i'm just deleting this one i don't need this one you can see here or if you want you can just keep it also and then you can just turn this inside so let's see whether how it looks i'm just rotating and i'm just going to put it here and send this to back if it is works okay if not we need to make sure that it, it looks like this okay a little bit yeah okay now press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it and put it here send it to back okay and then put it like this here again press ctrl d if you want you can hold the alt and the right arrow key and rotate like that also it's up to you whichever way you feel comfortable send this to back and align it and press ctrl d again rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key send this to back and that's it so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's up to you which color you want to choose and this color i'm going to make it white all right so it looks something like this so depending on your requirement you can just choose one by one and you can just change the color of your choice okay so i'm not going to do that one so you can but you can do it uh, with any color of your choice so once this is done let's put some text here i'm going to start with here add detail text here and if you want you can add some uh, the title also okay so i'm just going to give some more gray color and reduce the font press ctrl d you can just add one by one you can see here like this one by one let's add it and that's it i yeah and then if you want you can add one i'll just say eight points center align if you want to make it black make it bold increase the size so you can see here uh, the design is done and if you want to do some basic animation like fly in or whatever you can just add that particular animation to it